always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. We're seeing some scattered rain showers continue to develop and move their way across uh, parts of West Michigan. Down toward Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, not seeing a whole lot of that right now. It's mainly uh, right along and north of I-196 and M6 where we're seeing the steadiest precipitation take place. Places like Sparta over toward Rockford, uh, up toward Nuevo as well. Most areas near and north of Grand Rapids are seeing some scattered rain showers. It will continue to as we head through this evening. Much of it winds down by the time we get to Monday morning, but we could see a few snowflakes try to mix in Monday afternoon. Tuesday is the core of the cold air, and that's when we go from a mix to likely almost all snow showers during the afternoon and evening hours of Tuesday. A very chilly way to end the month of October. We do see temperatures rise by late in the week, but that's relative because they will remain below average. In fact, the warmest temperatures we're tracking here over the next week are several degrees below average. Here's a look at future casts. You can see that we do continue with scattered showers through the remainder of this evening. Gradually winds down as we head into Monday morning. Most areas should be drying out for the Monday morning commute. Into the afternoon, this model wants to give a few mixed rain and snow showers. So we'll carry a chance of it, but I think most areas are likely going to remain predominantly dry, at least compared to what we're expecting on Tuesday. You can see that uh, Tuesday morning, we may get some of those showers going, especially into the afternoon. We see disturbance roll through. That really flares up the activity, and these really dark blues are likely just a mix of some raindrops and snowflakes, and that will continue right on through Tuesday evening, which, of course, is trick-or-treating time. So <laughs> we've been saying it for almost a week now, but bundle up if you are heading out on Tuesday. 44 in Grand Rapids, 46 in Kalamazoo and Muskegon, 45 in Holland and in Fremont. Temperatures... Again, bottom out for the final day of October. They do warm up a bit heading into next weekend, but not all that much. In fact, the warmest temperature we're forecasting is Saturday, and that's a high of only 53 degrees, so it is going to remain rather cool. Let's look at the last five Halloweens just to give you some context. We saw light rain last year, high temperature 59, 56 two years ago with a few showers. 2020 was nice. Uh, although that came with some restrictions, obviously, with the pandemic. Uh, then we saw some white snow showers. So if it feels like it wasn't that long ago we saw snow on Halloween, that's because it wasn't four years ago. Uh, but this is going to be cooler than <laughs> that Halloween and also features a better chance for some scattered snow. Here's a live view at Allendale. Rain drops on the lens. Rain continues to fall. Winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Daybreak temperature, 33 degrees. It is going to be a chilly start to our Monday. Here's your eight-day forecast. Uh, has temperatures bottoming out. Weather's fairly quiet through the remainder of the week. Once we get past Tuesday, our next chance of precipitation arrives next weekend into early next week as temperatures remain in the upper 40s to low 50s. This week will certainly be chilly, Blake. Yes, it is, at least the next few days. Yeah. All right, thank you.